Hello, my name is Timothy Turnley, and today I'm going to be showing you how to restring a marimba. The materials we're going to need is some paracord or some marimba string, you're going to need some scissors, and you're going to need a lighter, and of course, a marimba. The next step in restringing a marimba is you're going to want to go to the bottom end of the marimba, and you're going to want to undo the strings from the spring. This can be done simply by taking the string seen here, and you're going to want to unwrap it by pulling it back through the spring, undoing it around the spring, and then pulling the rest of the string off. Now you're going to do this with both sides of the st uh, string, and you're going to want to make sure after you're done that you put these springs in a place that you know where it is that we don't lose these. If you end up losing these, you're going to have to suffer the price of new ones, and you're going to have to wait a couple weeks for them to arrive. So it's really important that you hang on to these. Now that we set our springs in a place that we know where they are, you're going to come to the top end of the marimba, and you're going to gently pull and you're going to pull one side and try to pull it evenly. That way, as you get through it, you should begin to hear each individual note hit the board. This is what it'll sound like whenever you're doing it correctly and pulling all the strings together. Now what you want to do, you want to grab whichever new string you have, and you're going to want to map out exactly how much string you're going to need. So you're just going to wrap it around the ends right there, and you're going to kind of slightly pull it just to be able to map out exactly how much string you have, how much you're going to need. Um, and it's important here um, to follow the nodes because that's essentially where the string's going to lie. So now you can see that we do have plenty of string here at the end um, to work with, and so we're ready to move on to our next step. Now that we know that this is the correct amount of string that we're going to need, you're going to want to make sure to cut it ex at the exact same size that you need. And then what you want to do next, you want to be very careful, um, especially if you're dealing with students uh, that are going to be doing this. So you're going to get a lighter and you're going to turn on the lighter. Now that the light is on, you're going to take the end of the string and you're going to slowly just put the end of the string over the flame. It's going to burn for just a second, just enough to where you don't see any light, then you want to blow it out. And then use the pair of scissors to slowly stretch out the string. This might take a couple times um, that you'll have to light it and then stretch it out like this. But the goal of it is that you're supposed to make a point with the end of the string. So we're going to try it again. And just like that, it's to a small little point, and that's all you're going to need to be able to make sure it fits the bar. Because each bar you'll see has a hole in it to where you're going to slide the string through, and it's actually pretty small just to allow for more resonance. And so you just want to make sure you can get, get it to as small of a point as you can. Now, you're going to want to make sure you repeat that with both ends of the string, just to allow you to make it easier on yourself. Um, because you're going to end up having the string from one end to the other, and then you're going to have to do the same thing going back down. And so it's just going to make it a lot easier on yourself. You do want to make sure that you end up burning it and sliding out the end of the string. You want to make sure you do it on a surface that's non-flammable and especially away from your instrument. If you're doing this on a marching keyboard, it is okay to do it on like the end of it on the frame um, because it's pretty much just hard metal and this stuff just scrapes off anyway. You're going to take one end of the string and you're going to start at the top end of the marimba. It's just a lot easier if you start here, um, and it just makes it a lot more efficient to go up and down the marimba. So you're going to take it, and you're going to take this top note, and you're going to slide it through. You can start on either the top or the bottom of the marimba, right here. And you're going to just take it through and slide it one at a time through each of the holes. And what I usually do, I work this all the way up to the end of the marimba, and then I come back down here, and I'll start on this end and come right here. We can now move to the bottom row of the accidentals. And you're just going to repeat the exact same steps, just going one by one. It is important to be as gentle as possible with each of these. You're going to want to grab the springs that you set in a safe place earlier, and you're going to bring them up through the first hole. Give yourself a little bit of slack to work with. You're going to wrap it around this little loop right here, and you're going to send it back through the bulk of the string. And you're going to repeat this for both sides of the accidentals. You're now going to even out the string in the springs to where you can get a little bit of tension. Right here when you pull across, you can see that there's plenty of space for the um, springs to not really build any tension. Instead, they would just sit loosely. So you can do that simply just by adding a little bit of more slack right here on this end of the spring and then pulling it out on this end of it. And you're going to pull that just as much as you can to be able to get any tension between 
the springs, and they should meet up mostly in the middle of the resonators right here. Now that they are mostly evened out to where you can get some good tension right here, what you want to do is try to knot as close to the top of the spring as you can, and that's going to pretty much just allow you to where as you play and as you use the instrument more and more, the string's not able to move backwards and get loose on you. Here's what that knot's going to look like. So you just wrap it around your finger once, and you send the end of the string back through. And you're gonna repeat this for both sides. Now all that's left to do is grab the springs and connect them in the middle. And that should stretch out the keyboard a little bit and it's gonna be able to give you plenty of resonance. And now you know how to restring a marimba. And now you can get back to playing beautiful stuff like this.